and so they've replaced her with holograms and body doubles. It all makes sense now. Hillary's been dead for months. Oh, gee, what's this all about? Oh, hey, mini skeptic. Mini believer here just showed me that Infowars opened a huge can of worms. Show me. Okay, you remember that guy from the Carl the Cuck video? Yeah, yeah. Well, remember how good he was at being fucking a white male and participating in a meme and. Uh, what did he do? I don't remember. Well, apparently he's so good at that that Infowars gave him a job. Okay. And he found a bunch of conspiracy theory videos showing that Hillary Clinton is now doing her speeches in green screen or some crap like that. And the sources he uses for this video are all saying that she's dead or a hologram or she's crazy or something's going on. The Hillary Clinton saga continues to get weirder and weirder. Now, this video was sent to me, and it's being analyzed by a bunch of people on YouTube right now. See? Legitimate YouTubers are analyzing this. Oh dear god, no. Something very bizarre going on here, folks. This is bl uh, blue screening. I don't know where Hillary was. I don't know if that's the real Hillary. But obviously, I don't know where this crowd came from, and where they were, and what was going on. See? He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't even know if that's the real Hillary. He's a skeptic, are you serious? Here comes Hillary. Here comes Hillary. Watch this guy to the left's phone. Watch his phone. Where is she? Where's Hillary? Yeah, yeah, if Hillary was really there, then a really low quality version of a video recorded off of another video should totally be able to see what that cell phone sees. Please tell me you have better evidence than that. Folks, something very, very strange is going on and it's kind of scary to be honest with you isn't it it's kind of scary because they will they are going to any lengths okay here we go who's she waving to folks i'm not sure she's looking directly straight at a flag and waving and now a point okay i'm done i'm done see he's done that's the sound of a man that's exhausted all of his resources yeah it sounds pretty legitimate to me this was hillary clinton's first speech after 9-11 in North Carolina, I don't know what is going on here, quite frankly. We're gonna continue to investigate this, but we had to file a report. He doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah, but he filed a report. Dude, this is super serious. Maybe you out there can do a little investigation. What? What, me? You, you mean you didn't, you didn't do any of the research? You just, you want me to do it? Well, what's the point of this video then? You're literally admitting that you don't understand what you're seeing. Boss, can you just do the thing that you usually do where you debunk the shit that you hear on the internet? Oh yeah. So here goes, here goes, the video. Right. So what we're watching here is camcorder footage of a guy filming a laptop screen watching a downloaded video off of a YouTube channel that was uploaded in 480p, mind you, that was downloaded off of ABC's YouTube channel and was compressed down from actual news footage. So that's seven or eight generations lost before you're watching it on my channel, which is then nine generations of footage loss that you're actually watching right now. Any investigator would tell you there's so many generations gone from this footage that it's essentially useless at this point. We have dozens of cell phone cameras right here recording as Hillary Clinton is about to take the stage. The cameras do not appear to be actually shooting the room that they're in. The stage here doesn't actually met, m match the stage here. So again, the stage here doesn't actually met, m met, match the stage here. I do have to admit here that the first time I saw this footage, I thought that it looked fake as well. There's a lot that seems wrong with it. Yes, the cell phones seem to be showing a completely different scene than the camera that is actually filming the cell phones. The crowd seems suspiciously small and mushed together. The concrete block wall seems strangely close to everybody, like the whole scene is compressed. It gives this video the appearance that it was filmed on a soundstage. 
stage. Not to mention this woman holding up the cell phone almost looks like she's standing in front of a green screen. There are dark lines around her arms and digital errors around her fingers. And when Hillary Clinton climbs up on the stage, again it almost looks like a green screen. Almost like she's being filmed in HD and the background is in standard definition. Now the accusation here is that this is a staged event. The conspiracy theory channels all believe that this was filmed on a sound stage in front of a green screen with a fake audience. Now their reasoning for this is they believe she has failing health, and I'm not gonna comment on whether or not I believe that's true in this video, but Hillary herself did say she was suffering from pneumonia. So perhaps this conspiracy theory has some weight to it. But does it? Let's investigate. My theory for why this video looks falsified all has to do with perspective. It's an optical illusion. From this photo of the event, you can see that Hillary Clinton is not up against a wall. She appears to be center of a basketball court. But this isn't a regulation size basketball court. I'm assuming that these are actually two practice nets, and it looks like she's sitting right on on the key of the regulation size basketball court. In fact, everything you see in this photo is only half of a gymnasium. Now, the reason this is significant is it suggests that the camera is really far away, probably at the entire other end of the court. Therefore, to crop Hillary into the center of the frame and make her as large as she is on the screen, the camera has to have a telephoto lens, which focuses on a very narrow area. Zooming in this much also compresses the foreground into the background and also makes the background look very small and tight. But those cell phones that are filming Hillary, they have wide angle lenses. So Hillary will appear very small in that photo, but the background will look very large because the foreground and background have not been compressed into each other. I'm gonna let Tony and Chelsea from my favorite photography channel explain how just a little bit of zoom completely changes the perspective of the background as it relates to the the foreground. So as you can see at 55 millimeters, you can see the background is pretty detailed and you also see a lot of the background. I'll go ahead and zoom into 135 to show you that you can get a little bit better results if you zoom in. Now I want you to look at that shed in the background and see how it changed. Chelsea yourself didn't change much as I zoomed, though you'll notice that the features are probably more flattering when I stepped back and zoomed in. But that background became bigger because the telephoto lens is compressing it more. And you can slow it down, you can watch, you can analyze it. I, I, you never see Hillary Clinton. I don't see any red, white, and blue. I don't see any flags. I do see those things, but I'm not calling him a liar. The reason I can see them is because I know how to look for them. Like I said, this is a wide angle lens. And as you can see from the photo, these people are not exactly right up against these flags. If you zoom in really close to these cameras, you'll notice these tiny little lines. Those are the flags, and you'll see a little pink smudge, a little tiny one right in the middle. That's Hillary Clinton. Because those are wide-angle lenses, the only way to make Hillary a bigger part of the foreground is to actually walk up closer to her. Let me just outline the evidence I presented in the other video. That is, the length that the large American flag is away from Hillary when she is speaking. This is an official photograph from the event. What this conspiracy theorist is trying to imply here is that the stage and the American flag behind Hillary does not line up with the camera. The camera should be showing a crowd of people behind her. But if you look carefully, the, the line actually changes direction twice. If you follow the lines of the stage, they line up perfectly with the American flag behind her. Watch what she's going to do here. She's pointing at a wall. Before she exits, she's going around waving, pointing at people, and she points to a wall. She waves and points to a wall. What is that? What's that? Well, what you're experiencing is an increase in dopamine levels in your brain. And because you want to chase that high, you're not willing to look at basic evidence to debunk your obviously ridiculous perception of what's happening. I mean, the fact that you're showing us a conspiracy theory video instead of the actual footage from the ABC channel is telling. I thought, you're, suppo you're supposed to be like a journalist. You work for Infowars. And you're showing us some randos conspiracy theory video. 
Show us the actual footage and debunk the actual footage. Why, I'm doing your job for you here. The conspiracy theory video falls into the same trap. You can tell that the author of the video doesn't want to know the truth. What they want is for this to be a fake video. She's looking directly straight at a flag and waving, and now a point. Okay, I'm done. What? So either Hillary Clinton has gone completely mental, or are we looking at a staged event? Are we looking at a staged press, press conference? What is going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You were just complaining that you didn't understand what she was pointing at, and then you just scroll the video ahead a few seconds, and you just talk over it like you're not even looking at exactly who she's pointing at. She's pointing at this lady with the sign. Look at the room, look at the shape, follow the line of sight. She's pointing at the lady with the sign. Now, with all of those other cell phones and cameras and press there, you'd think there'd be other angles showing Hillary Clinton ascending to the stage, right? Well, there are. In fact, I found one that I think is cell phone footage. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to sync it up with the ABC footage. Though Mr. Schroyer may appear to be quite good at creating legendary memes, he leaves me wanting when it comes to his investigative journalism skills. Now, other conspiracy theorists are proposing that this wasn't the real Hillary Clinton. I don't know if they think she's dead or just didn't show up, but they propose that this is a hologram. You may remember I said earlier in the video that this news footage was compressed, and you can tell it was compressed because Hillary's face keeps fading in and out of perfect focus. This is not the fault of the camera, this is due to compression. I'm not sure why they compressed the footage, but I'm betting it's because they sent it via satellite to a central recorder. I'm gonna let my favorite debunker, Captain Delusion, explain how video errors can be created through video compression. Interframe compression goes further by only using full intra-recorded pictures, called iframes, once in a while and filling the rest of the space with a different kind of data called predicted picture frames. Normally this works okay and cuts down on file size, but sometimes if iframes are really far apart and one of them gets skipped in a badly copied file or a live stream from Pretty Boy Prison, the p-frames keep distorting the picture way beyond what looks acceptable. They're working from too old a reference. Like if someone blinked and the iframe where their eyes open back up gets skipped, P-frames go on moving the closed eyelids around like their eyeballs. You'll notice that there's also a second type of error. It's called a repeating error, and it seems to be happening from top to bottom. And I'm betting that that's because that's the way that the camera refreshes. And what's happening is it's picking up the top half of the image, or it's picking up the image down to a certain point, but it can't read the image any further down because either the camera itself is experiencing an error, or again, they're experiencing errors through the compression through the satellite feed. Now what this is causing is a repeating image of Hillary. Now it looks like it's green screen because the background isn't repeating, but the reason it doesn't look like the background is repeating is because the background is already vertical lines. You can't repeat vertical lines downwards. If you look later on in the video when she walks in front of the crowd of people on the bleachers, there's another repeating error, and it's not just her. Everybody behind her repeats as well, proving that the flag was also repeating, you just couldn't tell. Now you mix that repeating error with that compression error and you just get one hell of a shit show. And it seems that ABC knew that there was something wrong with the feed because they started showing two images, one of the main feed and one of some sort of backup feed they seem to have been recording at the same time. Now if this was really green screen and they were trying to hide Hollywood magic, do you think they'd really highlight how bad it looked next to an image of how good it should look? Like I said in a previous video, Having your mind blown is an addictive experience. Your body gets used to the dopamine levels. And following the truth, being a skeptic, is kind of like 
Kind of like being a fucking narc, you know? I'm, I'm going around telling all these fucking dopamine chasers that they're full of shit. Telling them to, to get off the fucking dopamine. Start, start living in reality. Coming to a realization that the entire world is run by shape-shifting lizard people gives you a dopamine rush. Realizing that the world is run by assholes, it, that doesn't really give you much of a dopamine rush. The night that I found this footage, Shu on Head and I were having a really good laugh at it. And I was very attracted to this footage of Hillary Clinton's speech because when you look at it, on the surface it looks like something's wrong. As much as I still enjoy watching mind-blowing things and conspiracy theories and ghost videos, I've compartmentalized that part of my brain as kind of like a form of entertainment, but I don't really consider it serious. I think it's good to be skeptical of everything. The news, official stories that governments give you, things like 9-11 and the moon landing. Be skeptical of everything. I spend a lot of time proposing and considering other possibilities, and I like conversing with people on Twitter about other possibilities. But that doesn't mean that I've accepted those possibilities as being true. As Sargon likes to say, the mark of an intelligent mind is one that can entertain a new idea without necessarily accepting it as true. That's, that's what we skeptics do. We do, this, we do the simple explanation. This is the big difference between a conspiracy theorist and a skeptic. If a, if a conspiracy theorist calls himself a skeptic, they're, they're fucking lying. They don't know what a skeptic is. A skeptic is somebody who goes for the most likely explanation. The simplest explanation. Occam's razor. A conspiracy theorist goes for, I guess, what's the most amazing and fun thing to believe. <laughs> The stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here. So again, the stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here. The stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here. The stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here. Are we looking at a stage press press conference? What is going on here? Were people actually there? The stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here. The stage here doesn't actually me m match the stage here.